Right, this is Si live at the Bristol Bar, famous Bristol Bar, and Loyal Duke Street, and the East End, as I'm always telling the viewers on the Gels TV, the East End is a place to be. This is the Rangers Red, White and Blue territory of Glasgow. I've got a special guest today, I'm going to chop up a wee bit and change it. I've got a female on today, I've got ex-Rangers player and probably the first legend of the Rangers ladies team, Lisa Swanson. Lisa, welcome along. Thanks very much. So, to start this interview off, I'm going to basically tell you how it is. I know nothing about women's football, right? So tell us a wee bit, first of all, how did you get into football and how did you get to sign for Rangers? Um, I've played football since I can remember, since I was a kid, about four years old. But um, I was never really in a football team until I was about 12. Um, I played in a boys' team, Soul Coach United, that's where I'm from. Right. And then from there, um, I got picked up by Kilmarnock. So I was at Kilmarnock from 13 to 16. And then... We were playing against a team that were going to be taken over by Rangers, so that's kind of where I got scouted. Um, I went to I went and played in a Scotland trial, and even to this day, I'd say that's probably one of the guess, best games I've ever played in my life. But I didn't get called back, so. So, so at that point, did you think you were going to get? Did, did you think Rangers were watching you then? No, I never, I never knew at all. So I went home that night, and I got a phone call from like, a number I never had saved in my phone. So I thought it was maybe I was hearing back from Scotland and I got a phone call from John McMonagall and he asked me if um, I could go along to a Rangers trial. So from then I went along, it was a six week trial, like a summer camp kind of thing. So we went along and from then I got signed by Rangers. So. Brilliant. So I forgot to put, I'm just laughing, I forgot to put my phone on the airplane mode so it's pinging away now. So always somebody <laughs> phones you. Right, so you're, you're from Solcoats but... Yep. You're a Blue Nose? Aye, definitely. So how does that feel, Rangers? Obviously, at any level, if Rangers want to sign you, if they want to sign me for the Domino team and more, mm. I'd be going nuts. I know. Um, I've always... I always used to say to my nana, I say, I, I just want to play with Rangers. And at that point, Rangers never had a female set-up. So it was impossible to play for Rangers at that point. So, so, so does that mean that, that you were in the first ever kind of Rangers aye, set-up? I've been, in? I've been at Rangers since day one. Right. Because so bear in mind when I say I know nothing about it. Aye, so the Rangers... Um, female set up was set up 11 years ago, so it was under 17s that I signed for, and then the following year, in 2008, that's when the women's team was set up. So it was the 17s first, then the women's then, team. Then the women's, right. So how successful have they been so far? We've done well. Um, we were more successful early on, so we were. We had to start in the first division because we were like a brand new team, so we went through that unbeaten. Oh, don't start that. Silly fans will be <laughs> obsessed with that. You <laughs> comment in there, hiding be obsessed as usual, right? So the, the, obviously they were a brand new team because of the, Aye, the because setup. It was a new setup, so we had to start in that. We went through it unbeaten. We were reaching Scottish Cup finals and things like that. So we, we have been successful. And for that, as many punters watching you, I know when I spoke to Robert, the, mm. the, the, the reserve round up, I'm doing once a month now, eh, once a week now. They, a couple of times he'd been up to seas. They, they watched his mistake. I think the first time they enjoyed it that much. He started going. Aye. It is, it is getting a lot better, and I think as well, because there is more media attention around it, like, it is easier for people to find out like, where our games are, where we're playing, things like that, so they do come along. And you know what the Rangers fans are like, they'll support anything involved with Rangers. So. And number, te number 10, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, we know was up there, that was yeah. your number that you played with Rangers? I've worn number 10 for 11 years at the club, so that was always my number. Uh, that, that number is important to me. So that's, right. And how successful have you been, have Rangers been and you been when, in the 10 years in? I, like, I've not won a major trophy yet, which was a bit disappointing during my time there. That's something I always wanted to do. Yep. But the fact, just the fact that I was even a Rangers player meant the world to me. Like, I've loved and supported the club my whole life, so to get that chance to play for Rangers. Aye. So are you, are, you the, are you the longest one there? Aye, so far, aye. Aye, and unfortunately, I, 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 I caught it on Twitter, I was reading it, I was reading the story, I thought it was fascinating. So you then left Rangers to go back to Kilmarnock? Aye, um, I didn't want to leave Rangers, um, and that's not me being disrespectful to Kilmarnock, that's me just being a, ra is. a Rangers aye. supporter. Like, you don't want to leave the team you love aye. and support, so just a few things happened, and I suppose it wasn't working out for me. Um, with the new manager and that coming in, so I've went, I went on loan, I did well, um, I played eight games, scored eight goals, seven assists, I got nominated for Player of the Month, two months in a row, I've won it for September. That, this is all for this season? Aye, aye. so I, di I did do well when I went on loan and then 
I went back to Ibrox, so I had a meeting with the manager and the coach, and I, I made it clear that I didn't want to leave Rangers, so... But you had to go? Aye. Aye, which is fair enough. Obviously, we can well no good luck with that. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, as long as you're not playing against Rangers. Nice. Um, so, any highlights? Who would you say? I mean, for anybody who was wa wants to watch the, 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 the ladies' team night, they want to watch the Rangers girls Aye. playing a ladies' ladies for it, calling mm -hmm. them. Um, who's the best players in the team? You know, would you say no pals? Who would you say would be? But oh, it's such a talented squad, and it is a, it is a young team as well. So they're so. I'd say players to kind of watch out for is Amy Muir. She's just won Player of the Year and Players Player of the Year. Right. She's a, a brilliant talent. She's got so much potential. She could probably go on and play professional football anywhere. Right. So she's definitely one of the players to watch out for. But it would be kind of unfair to like, just pinpoint certain aye. players because every one of them... are doing well. Aye. So, so just to get an idea, because I'm not sure... I'll, I'll always be honest when I do this show, mm -hmm. right? When I, I always tell her how it is. Rangers are the greatest club in the world and all that. Um, the best fans, we are the people, all that stuff. But to get a reality on it, I, I know very little about the level of the, the girls' game, right? So yeah, see when you that go, you're saying that girl can go other places. Yeah. Is, there a, is, is, is the Rangers set up professional? It is, aye. Uh, we're in almost every night. Um, the standards are right up there, the way they should be at Rangers Football Club. Um, so aye, it is, it is right up there. Right, so for an example, I want to come along and watch a game mm -hmm. and... Uh, Chile last season, um, and maybe I did a bit of TV show or something like that. Where, mm -hmm. where, when did they play? What nights of the week did they play? Where did they play? Or what so days? So we play. I keep saying we. Um, Rangers oh. play on a Sunday at Benburg Juniors. Oh, the so, Benz, right? Aye, so just along the road to Ibrox. It's two minutes. So it's ideal if like Rangers are playing at Ibrox at three o'clock or whatever. We're just along the road. Most games are at two. Right. So, so basically, you could go and watch most of the game. Mm -hmm. I think it costs like four pound or something to go along and watch as well. So. So, le so less than a fi less than a fiver. Take your aye. kid along, you and you can get a watch aye. what's happening with the girls' team. Mm -hmm. And if, so, if wrote another way, so if, I, if any young girls are watching this, you know, right? Obviously, aye. going on about how good looking I'm on or that. <laughs> Forty-three-year-old man. Oh, kidding aside, the young lass are watching this, and they're going like, "I want to get into football, and it's a hard game to get into, and it's kind of male-dominated." Mm -hmm. How? What's your advice for getting into? Uh, just keep keep at it. Um, there is times years ago where I, I questioned myself and think, am I even good enough to be here? But I just kept going and kept going and I think for me being a Rangers supporter, that's all I ever wanted as well. So I just yep. I kept that in my head and the fact that majority of my family are all Rangers supporters, right. especially my nana. So every ball I kicked for Rangers, every goal I scored, it was for her. So, so for, for an example, so young, young girls want to get into the game, is there, is there a lot of facilities out there for them? I, um, Rangers as well have just started up I went to this when I was 10, so it's Rangers Soccer Schools, but they're doing like a, a girls only section right now as well. Right, so how, how did you join that? You just sign up to it through, there's information everywhere you can. On, on the web, uh, so on the website and things uh, like that? On like social media, Twitter, things like that, it's everywhere, so if you just type it in, even just Google it. Right. Rangers should, Soccer Schools. As I say, I, I don't know enough about up. it and I want to make sure that anybody's watching. Uh, can get an opportunity. I know they're going like, ah, you're showing us this and that. I'm going to start watching now. Hopefully, they might be interview some of the current girls' mm -hmm. team as well. Uh, at least I can help me put in touch with them. Mm -hmm. But it's just a, to make it bigger, a wee programme like this might just get another couple of punters along. We're going to encourage you to come along for a fiver, bring your kids. Um, and level wise, what level would you see that the Scottish games at? It's improved a lot, definitely has. Um, before, you would be getting results like 10 0, 7 0, things like that. Aye. You don't really get that anymore, not as much. Is it 8-0 now? <laughs> so the games are a lot tighter now. And when you're playing like your likes at Glasgow City, Hibs, all the top teams right now, like the results are getting closer and teams are now beginning to catch them. So, so when you say that, the top teams, who, is it, who would you say is probably the, 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 be, the best football team in, the, um, in Scotland? I would say Hibs, but Glasgow City have won the league 11 years in a row. Right, OK. But so Hibs have won the double the past two years in a row, or two or three, I think maybe two. So they are getting closer. It's just about the other teams now, like bridging that gap just to get to uh, Have they played longer than Rangers? Aye. Right, so uh, it's basically just getting better. they have been better. around for like 11 years where these clubs have been around much longer. Perfect. So Rangers are basically building on that. Aye. Right, so that's great. So people are going to get a chance to go and watch them. Um, what what would you say, any highlights of your Rangers time then? You were there for 10 years. 11 years. 11 years, right. Aye. Um, I think, obviously, beating Celtic is a highlight every time you beat them it's it's the best feeling in the world Aye. I don't think 
it can get any better, then it does let you go and win again. And Did you score against him anything? I scored in um, the Scottish Cup semi final. Uh, it went to penalties, and my manager at the time was Scott Allison. Aye, right. So it went to penalties, and I was like, Can I hit one? I was like, I've not, never scored against Celtic, I'm not going to get a better chance than this. He kept saying no, so we scored, they scored. I was like, can I go next? He kept saying no, no. I was like, he's not going to let me hit one. So it got to the final one, he's like, he shouted at Swanee, like, you're next. Take one. So, right. so at this point, I don't want to get you the bullet, right? I don't want to get you the sack for you, commando job and all that, right? No. But, and kind of, layman's terms, what do you see when you score against them? What do you like? What was it like when you scored against them? What you shouted? Oh, it was amazing. Aye. Aye, you just, you don't even... Like you can't even remember what goes through your head till you're away back home and you're like, that actually, that just oh, happened. That me, and then right. it hits you. Like, once you're going through it all, you don't even realise like what's actually going on. Because if I'm thinking that's the only coverage I've ever watched, what's interesting is like, the bigger games or, or the games that I've seen, Portland or Firm ones in it. So that was a highlight. Any other highlights? Um, I, I played down in Saltcoats. We played a kind of charity game and my nana got to come along and I was captain that day. So I got to be captain of Rangers in my hometown with my nana watching. That's one of my Aye. favourite memories of, of Rangers, but there is, there's so many. See, even just being there, Aye. it's brilliant. Aye. And as you said, you're a Rangers supporter and you've, went, you've left the pastures now. Mm-hmm. Things like that. You're in the Bristol Ballad and you can see all the Aye. memorabilia and all the things. How does it feel to be in a place like this? It's, aye, it's for a win. This is what Rangers is about, isn't it? So. Aye, they're, well, they're official sponsors of the club now, the Bristol, uh, for two years running. And they're trying to encourage we're going to do interviews in here. We have done some players' interviews and some fan interviews and that. And mm-hmm. as I say to you, if the ladies' team are ever winning, hopefully they win in the next aye. couple of years, and I welcome it. Mm-hmm. Um, just to finish it off then, so the last question, I'm just trying to think of something I'd finish it with, would be, mm-hmm. and you're, you're, you're still playing just now, do you think I'm you're ever going to come back to Rangers or age-wise? Or what do you think is going to happen in the future? I think if I was to come back, I hope it's in like a coaching role or something like that. I think um, if I was to come back as a player and then at some point I'm going to have to leave again, I think that would be too difficult. Right. Um, yeah, I'm nearly getting the new just last thing. <laughs> <laughs> if that was my daughter, then I'd be right off at Ibrox so going, no chance, man. <laughs> No, it was obviously heartbreaking leaving, but Aye. that's football in it. So. But, but you go to the, the end of the day, you got 11 years at Ibrox, or 11 years playing with Rangers, mm-hmm. and you go to train me in the, 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 the Humble, the humble, the humble training there. ground. So you've done the full, you've done the full works now. So you, basically, you loved the gym. Mm-hmm. I, did, I didn't want it to end so soon. I still kind of feel like, although I have been at Rangers 11 years, I think it has ended too soon. But I'm, ar- I'm still playing, so I'm just going to. Like do the best I can for Kilmarnock right I. now and see we've got a chance to get promoted at Kilmarnock into the Premier League so my full focus is just going to be in that now and try Aye. and help the club as much as I can. Of course and that's fair enough obviously. Obviously I'm still going to be at Ibrox every other week. Well, well that's Rangers what I was going to ask you just quickly on what's your opinion in the season so far when you get to watch Rangers and the, the first team? Uh, it's like night and day isn't it? It's a massive difference obviously with Steven Gerrard coming in he's just transformed the whole team I think some Rangers fans can be a wee bit critical too early. Mistys. Aye, <laughs> but I suppose that's just the, the demands in it as a, a I think, I think everybody just wants just, the best, aye, for the club. Aye, so, what we've been through the past few years. So, so with the girls, just to finish off, I've got a big mm-hmm. game Thursday night. Uh, we're playing against the Spaniards, Villarreal. In my opinion, they're a quality team, a class team. They probably have got another gate up against us. Aye. And probably if they finish it on Thursday, that same. Mm-hmm. Qualified as far as I know. Aye. What's your opinion of the game with Jack Rangers all day? I think we'll beat them. So, so they are. Like yeah, I think we'll just, we'll just go for it. I think any Rangers team, like, you shouldn't fear anyone. Aye. Like They're coming to Ibrox, like, really team to fear. So. And are you going to beat the game or are you I'll playing them? I'll be there, I'll be there. Aye. We're off just now, like, our season's finished, so I'll be there. Excellent. So just a wee message for a finish. Lisa, if you were uh, a young lassie watching this and you're interested in football, what's your advice on them? Just... Keep playing and just enjoy it as much as you can, and that's the main thing. Is you're happy playing football, so it is. So just keep at it. And one of the things I always say as well, like even if you're just training or if it's a friendly, always do your best because you never know who's watching. Who's watching you? Aye, that's what I that's what I found out. Aye. So that's me in the pub on a Saturday night. I never know who's watching <laughs> me. Bro, so the, this is Lisa Swanson. The girls love the dream. Played with Rangers ladies team for ten for eleven years. She she done everything she could have done, fantastic. And now she's 
uh, past years now. So Lisa, good luck in the future. Yeah, thanks very much. And maybe we'll see, maybe see you again one time at Ibrox we'll again with another role. Uh, and good luck. All right. Thank you. Cheers. We, we reminder: like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can get more viewers. Keep it going, and the bigger it gets, the more we can pro promote the famous Glasgow Rangers. We are the people.